The nurse came into a kid's room and they needed to take their medication. This is a child who every time she gets this medication goes off the wall. She is so nervous. She hates the pills. She hates this whole process. And afterwards, the nurse approached the team and said, she was with that bear and I walked in the room and I gave her that medication. It was like I wasn't even there. She did what she needed to do and it was the easiest thing we've ever done. A patient like Beatrice, who's got a chronic condition, she's going to be in and out of the hospital. She's here for procedures. She's here for doctor's visits. She's missing school. She's missing her friends. She's really not doing any of the things that a normal kid her age is doing. And what we want to offer kids like that is just one more way of helping them to feel okay where they are in what's otherwise a really stressful experience. You're home for almost three weeks now. Yeah, and I you know. made it to, to clinic. Ah, uh, fine. It's true. What else? This was all because of you. But you are sometimes very annoying and very stressful. I'm going to call them whiskers. Whiskers, you are sometimes not worth it, but you are. So let's start off with plans for this week. So we have Beatrice coming back today. Um, and then do we have anybody else on tap for the week? Um, there's I think there's a way of connecting with kids that's different from what grown-ups can offer. They have incredible imaginations uh, and they can really suspend disbelief and there can be a true relationship that develops between Huggable and a patient. We are getting all of this physiologic data, so going forward, once that's fully integrated into the actual robot and he can respond to it, the bear may try you know, to engage a kid with jokes, and if those physiologic parameters aren't coming down, he'll be able to switch. Maybe this is a kid who really needs some relaxation. Maybe we'll do some guided imagery together. Huggable, how are you doing? You're looking a little bit sleepy. Should we put him back in his house? Night, night, Huggable. Yeah, go ahead. And good night, Huggable. Wow, your house looks comforting. Ah, <laughs> thank you, B. Why did it have to end so soon? I was having such a good time. He is having fun, huh? I hope I get one more day. This is all about working out the bugs, both in terms of how he fits in the clinical world, but also the technology behind him. So I can only hope that as we go forward, it doesn't take an hour and a half to present this thing to a child for half an hour, or that's not going to be sustainable. What was your favorite part? I think it could be a bit more improved, to be honest. She reacted like 10 seconds after, and she couldn't cover her eyes, which I found a bit sad. So she couldn't really play peekaboo properly. So, yep. <laughs>